Close your eyes, focus on the breath. Breathe deeply a couple times to see how deep breathing feels. If it feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't, you can change. You're here to focus on what you can do to make the present moment a good place to be. There may be pains in the body, there may be other issues, but there are some parts of the body where you do have a chance to make a difference. You always want to focus on that. Because in the present moment you've got all kinds of possibilities coming in from your past karma. And it's up to you to decide what you want to focus on, what you want to develop. Sometimes we focus on the wrong things and create more pain for ourselves. In fact, that seems to be our default mode, because for the most part we're acting out of ignorance. But it doesn't have to be that way. You can start looking very carefully at what potentials you have right here. This is one of the purposes of meditation, is to sensitize you to the fact that there are, all these, are these many potentials, good and bad, and you want to focus on the good ones. Take advantage of the fact that you do have some good karma come from the past, otherwise you wouldn't be here. So you want to build on that and make the most of what you've got. As for the things you can't change, those are the things that you have to feel equanimity for. As for things you can, you try to figure things out. This is where meditation becomes an exercise, not just in calming the mind, but also in experimenting, probing seeing what it is that the mind is still doing that may be causing stress or suffering, maybe on a very subtle level, but it's still there. As long as it's still there, there's more work to do. But if something is blatantly unskillful, you want to drop that right away. Work on the more subtle things that have a, give you a chance to be more skillful. Because if we all came here with zero funds in our account, there's no way that we could get anywhere in the meditation, but we already have something. And you want to take the good some things and throw them away. That would be a waste. And John Lee has a statement. He says, you should bow down to your mouth every day. And that was making reference to the fact that you've got this human mouth because of good karma from the past, and so you want to use it well. Well, the same principle applies to all aspects of the body, all aspects of the mind. You've got this big lump of karma right here, and you want to tease things out, which are the unskillful kinds of karma that you're carrying around, which are the skillful ones, and then try to make the most of the skillful ones. Learn from the unskillful ones. Develop the skillful ones so they get even more and more skillful. It's like taking your past profits and just reinvesting them again. And this way you develop a lot of noble treasure inside. So there are lots of potentials right here. It's up to you to decide which ones you're going to focus on right now and what to do with them. And with practice, you learn to be more and more skillful at that. 